a mother and two young girls lost their lives in a tragic accident and we got reports from family members that they believe they might still be trapped within the home they've seen weird things happening Sorry to get a reading walking in the door. Hello? We get emails all the time about stuff like this, but this story seemed intriguing to us. I love old Scratch. Places. Oh, scratch. Says scratch. Obviously, said scratch. Hey, <laughs> Colt's leaving. All right. Well, scratch. Maybe you're here with us. Maybe you're not. But we were told that two sisters that used to live here passed away recently, and we would like to communicate with you if you're here. We were told that Jessica and Nicole's mother loved the color red she had red carpet stained red wood yeah this is a weird looking room in here a lot of old look at the red floor so it's like this room right here. is right there right here Can you come closer to the EMF detector? If you're in here with us right now? Oh, what the fuck? These are weird, bro. Got like weird ass old, old pictures of like little porcelain dolls. Whoever lived here had a doll fetish. I wonder if that was the, the two girls or the mother that had the doll fetish. Should have probably asked about that, but how would we know, you know? Yeah. EMF reading right away. Mine thing when we walked into the door too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of odd. It's honestly like this room was a little bit of a hot spot. You're going again, right? Yeah, just right here. I'm not sure. More dolls. There was a ton of creepy dolls in that house, and some of the dolls that were right near the stairs were actually facing away oh, that's kind of fucking weird right oh yeah why are they all like facing backwards except one they're facing away from the stairs with their faces towards the corner which is just odd huh Let's see. what do they look like That is kind of weird. Look at these walls, man. It's like, it's like a fabric. Yeah. Pictures of angels. I have the ovulus on. I don't know why you said scratch when we walked in here, unless scratch is with us. And if you are, can you say something scratch? Can you give us another message? Uh, there's a light on up here. What? Yeah, we got a light on in this room. Yeah, hey, this is one of the rooms that was completely visible when we pulled up. Remember we were looking at the place? Outside? 
There wasn't any lights on. 100%. Jessica? I noticed that there was two rooms adjacent to each other. Uh, one had a name Jessica on it and the other one had the name Nicole. Seeing Jessica and Nicole's names still on their bedroom doors definitely was a gut punch. It was just like a sad feeling, but it was also a, a heavy feeling because you know that they passed recently. <laughs> Says Nicole's nook. It's always tragic when an entire family loses their life in an accident like that, but returning family members still believe that they're trapped there. We decided to do a spirit box test in the mother's room and we lit some candles. We had a red pendant hanging because that was her favorite color from what we heard. We wanted to see if we could maybe draw her in to communicate a little bit more with us. And this was the first time that we had dabbled with an app. We heard a lot about it from our Patreons. We got a lot of requests on there. Check out this app called Necrophonic. It's basically a spirit box scanning through radio frequencies minus the static. So I know we've had a lot of complaints on the channel about the static noise. It's hard to hear, it's hard to hear the voices. So we gave this one a shot and it was actually pretty clear. Thunder? Thunder? Oh, it's starting. It's already going. I hit start. Hello? Hello? We're trying to communicate with a woman. Emily, how about the uh, the red crystal? We know you like red. Casey, extremely close. I'm Casey. This I is just Tanner. Your name behind the two. Like Casey. Did you? This is Tanner, and this is Colton. Hello. The little girl that just spoke to us. Can you please speak again? you warming up to us and talking to us. We're here to get a message from you from your family. What would you like to tell them? They miss you. Nikki and Jessica, we hear you trying to come through. You have to be a bit stronger so you can talk to us. your mom's room. Is that okay? Sure. I heard it whispers. That was like there was a moan. That said get out. Right. 
that said get out. It's crying girl. We're trying to make communication with the girls. Any other entities can you just not? Why are you crying? Is there something scaring you here? Can you say that again? Help. That was a little girl. A damned? They're like battling to get there. Yeah. How about this? Stop trying to overpower the girls and let them talk. How about this? Stop trying to overpower the girls and let them talk. There was some weird shit right there. Yeah. I heard a girl say, I hate you. I don't know, guys. We can try, uh, we got the new recorder. We want to try with cassette tapes. Cassette, yeah. Instead of doing it digital, let's go old school. Uh -huh. Put it on a cassette, uh -huh. see if we get any, any voices. All right. This is weird. I, I, I don't know how authentic this is. It yeah. sounds like whatever it is, it has a noise suppressor, so it shuts out the white noise. Right, it cuts, out, it cuts out the white noise, but it's also, I feel like it's cutting parts of the the words by not being so accurate yeah. with the noise cutting but i think it's honestly good it is good yeah yeah it is good the way it cuts it makes sense yeah when we were doing evp sessions instead of using digital devices we wanted to go a little bit old school so we used analog tape recorders with cassettes and we were actually recording on spot, rewinding, playing it back. Um, we tried a room downstairs, didn't really get much. Just give it a couple seconds of delay in the beginning. <laughs> Jessica and Nikki, we can hear you much more clearly now. We hooked up a microphone to this device. Can you tell us something? Can you give us a sign that you're here? Who was it that was trying to block the girls from talking earlier? Earlier we heard a younger girl's voice. More often than any other voice. Can you tell us the name of that girl? Jessica and Nikki, we can hear you much more clearly now. We hooked up a microphone to this device. Can you tell us something? Can you give us a sign that you're here? Who was it that was trying to block the girls from talking earlier? younger girl's voice, more often than any other voice. Can you tell us the name of that girl? I thought 
thought I heard some. Yeah, I thought so at the end too. When you were talking. But when we went up to the girls' room, something very strange happened. EVP session number four in Jessica's room. What's stopping you from talking to us? Jessica, can you give us a sign that you're here? Anything at all? What about Nikki? I you know that Nicole was here too. Nicole, do you want to speak to us? Try Nicole's room after this, and then... While we were asking the questions, we couldn't hear any noise in the room with us, but when we played back that cassette tape, there was a very strange, deep growling sound coming in between our questions. Or yeah, but you didn't hear that when we were asking questions. Session right? number four in Jessica's room. What's stopping you from talking to us? That's literally fucking horrifying. The thing is, with a cassette like that, you can't fake that. You can't make that up. You can't add a sound and post. This is playing straight from a cassette tape. What's stopping you from talking to us? That's literally fucking horrifying. What is that? Just give us a sign on the left here. Anything at all? We're going to have to play back all these cameras mm -hmm. and see what the fuck that was. Yeah. I've never heard anything like that in an EVP. We heard a very clear growl noise. It was an extremely clear EVP and there was really no way to explain it. That's what it sounds like or like something like... What's stopping you from talking to us? Oh no, that's a growl. It's like a moan slash growl. Yeah. That's fucking scary. Dude. And look, I go straight to the next question. We didn't hear shit. 
Yeah, we would have heard that. Yeah, yeah we would have heard that. It sounded very dark. It sounded demonic in a sense. I highly doubt that that was Jessica, Nicole, or their mother coming through, but there was definitely something making noise in between us asking questions. Are we gonna keep doing them here? You wanna go to the other room? Give us a sign uh, that you're here. That was pretty let's not record it all. Then. Keep that one. Yeah, yeah let's leave the blank space. I can flip the side, right? Yeah, yeah. Or that's an idea. Or just yeah. maybe flip the side. Maybe okay. do a tape. Well, it's a weird duck off. I think we should. Here. Cole, you gonna come in with us? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna set this one up right here. Okay. And. Cool. Cool. Do you just wanna both sit on here? Yeah, I think that's fine. Good. Let's let it go for a minute. Yep. EVP session number five. Why did you say scratch when we came in the house? Are you here with us, Nicole? Why were the dolls facing backwards downstairs? A little nervous to sleep here. Well, I mean, for me, just drinking a monster, I'm feeling very drained. Yeah? Yeah. You got dibs on Jessica's room? Great. I'll sleep there. That was a question, but that's cool. I'll go to no. mom's. I'll go to mom's. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were saying because nobody wants to sleep Angel. in there because of that growl. Angel. Angel. Maybe you're better off and just go. Wait, why when I said mom's room does it say Angel? Yeah. All right, I'll stay in Jessica's room. I'll take Nicole's room. After setting up the static cameras, we all decided to go to bed there. Um, sometimes when we go to sleep, we get things moving. That's why we set up these static cameras. A lot of times entities like darkness, they like doing things when people aren't paying attention and that's why we put these cameras up in the first place. When I was sleeping, I was woken by what seemed to be the phone ringing in the corner. At first, I thought it was part of my dream that I was having. It was when I couldn't ignore it that I realized this is happening in reality. Upon inspection of the phone, I check there's no dial tone. What? The fuck? The fuck? I saw that the phone was unplugged. There was no telephone cord leading to it. There was no outlet that the power plug was plugged into. Something just slammed. Yeah. What the fuck was that? 
I was awoken in the middle of the night by a loud slam in the hallway and Casey yelling for me. Tanner. Hey, you what? Up? Did you hear that? Yeah, what the fuck? I thought maybe that was you. That wasn't you? exactly what it was, but it woke me up. Is that the attic? And as I look down the stairwell, I hear Tanner behind me saying, Hey, dude, dude, look, look, look. Yo, Colt. Yo, Casey. Yeah? Casey, look. Oh, shit. What the f***, dude? What the fuck, bro? Fuck. What the fuck, dude? The door was opening up completely on its own and then just slammed shut right in front of us. Yo, Casey. Yeah? Casey, look. Oh, shit. What the f***, dude? What the fuck, bro? Fuck. What the fuck, dude? What is that noise? You heard that? What the fuck? After inspecting the phone, I started hearing noises upstairs and I opened my door to say, yo. Yo. And I find out that they're awake and moving around. Step back for a second, bro. That's fucking freaking me out. How the fuck do you explain that? You cannot. Guys! Yo, dude, no, you don't know what just happened up here. Like, how the fuck do you explain that? We don't fuck around on these investigations, and it's no bullshit. That door moved completely on its own, and it's all caught on camera. Yo, Casey. Yeah? Casey, look. Oh, shit. What the f***, dude? What the fuck, bro? Fuck. What the fuck, dude? complete movement, an object in the physical world being moved by something that you cannot see. I don't think we talked to the girls or their mother that night whatsoever. Whatever opened that door and whatever growled in that EVP session is what's haunting that building. I 100% believe that this place does have an attachment to it. I do not believe that the attachment is either of the two girls or the mother. I wish that I could say I felt a presence there from them but I did not. Most of the presences that I felt within that home were of a much darker nature. A lot of paranormal activity, but the most concerning of all those things that we still didn't get to the bottom to is that growl. I could see why the family is concerned and reaching out to us to come and check it out because what they're feeling is not their relatives. Okay, lights, cameras, action bitch, let's roll. Skulls on the banners, I'm the one producing these shows. Got my dogs, I'm with Tanner, and we hunting down these goals. On the road, hunting phantoms, spirit box with live bowls. Yeah, poltergeist, it gets cold. Yeah, see my breath is like snow. Yeah, EMF, it might go. Yeah, Ninja board is so dope. Yeah, cameraman, we got cold. Yeah, static camera got gold. Yeah, talking to the dead soul. Yeah, see a demon get froze. Yeah, uh, too long for this new shit. Season three, it goes stupid. We love the fans, but the truth is, we on the road to produce shit. And it takes time to make movements. So those that hate could enjoy the wait, but when we drop the tape, they gon' tune in. I'm done with games, boy, I'm too